Hello, today let's talk a little bit about a community profile for your resin 3D printer. What it is? Well, let's start in another way. Um, probably you purchase your new printer or you are trying a new resin that you just purchased, there is a promotion or people talk about a specific resin, but now comes the question is, which parameters do I have to use uh, for this resin and combined with this specific 3D printer? A lot of people are looking online, you have spreadsheets and everything to find parameters, but in Litchi Slicer, you have this community resin. What it is, roughly, when you are exporting your uh, 3D models, your slice files, uh, Litchi Slicer is saving in your history the parameters that you are using, then the exposure time, the speed, and so on, and it will invite you, you will see that later, to rate your print uh, with uh, a bad, medium, or high, I would say, in terms of, uh, of stars, three stars, from one to three, and all of that will be push to the cloud in a big database and like that all the other users will be able to use your profile if it's working well, will be able to use it and the more people will use the same profile, validate this profile, then the highest will be uh, uh, the, the value, the rate I would say for this profile and then more users will work like that. Then combined with the multiple resin which exist in the market and the multiple printers also which exist, there is a very high chance that some resin profiles for your combination uh, combination of both resin and 3d printer are available uh, just please keep in mind there is no personal data which are pushed in the cloud this is only the profile by itself the values and of course the success rate of this profile combined with a specific printer then this is for the theory. Now, let's see that more into details in Litchi Slicer. Uh, in my scene, I have, of course, the demo chicken. And if you look on the top left of the UI, you have this resin uh, icon, you click on it, and you see this uh, overwhelming uh, series of parameters. It can be uh, quite difficult and challenging when you are new. I will do a dedicated video for uh, these uh, resin settings, but you have these burning layers, which are bottom layers, normal layers, exposure time, thickness, speed, distance, lift, all of that. It can be very, very difficult and you may be very lost. Let me just close this window for now. And then uh, I have two printers, the uh, Elegu Saturn 2 and Elegu Saturn 3. I will speak a little bit about that later. Why? community uh, resin can be very helpful for you. Uh, anyway, I have uh, below my list of printers and the list of resin associated with this printer. Then you see I have my Elego Saturn 2, the brand, which is default brand and default name. And let's say this default thickness of 50 microns. This profile, this resin profile is the one provided with the 3D printer. Um, it's been designed to be a kind of uh, average profile which would work with most resin whatever the colors and all of that but it's not optimized for a specific resin that's why it may work well but in some cases uh, scenarios it may not work let's say you have a very specific ceramic type resin with specific speed exposure time there is a high chance that you will have a failure with this profile but at least this is a starting point now okay Great, Thomas, you speak about all these uh, 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 things about community resin profile, but how it's working and how I will use it. This is very easy. If you look just down this uh, uh, window, you have add new resin. You click on it and uh, in, you will have this uh, window which will appear with uh, this listing of profiles. If you look on top, you have multiple filters. It's really to choose which brand of printer you want to use. It, by default for me, it's an Elegu 3D printer. Why? Because I just have the Saturn 2 printer, which was selected uh, just before. That's why I have this Elegu Saturn 2 already pre-selected by the software. But if you want to choose another brand or another uh, type of 3D printer from this brand, you can already look into this list. But let's stick to the Saturn 2. And if I leave as is, just below, you have this listing with uh, uh, um, a list of resin with by default the resolution 50 micron for the top one exposure time the speed which is uh, when you have this two stage system uh, you have only the first one by the way uh, the leaf distance and used by more than a thousand of users in fact i think this is between a thousand and five thousand uh, users next to that you have the rate which is uh, in terms of full success at 53 percent 
Just below, you have more than a thousand prints. Also, I think this is between a thousand and five thousand or ten thousand. I don't remember exactly. And you have uh, 107 user plus uh, who liked this resin profile. And next to it, you have this detail. You have a, a quick uh, a, a popover which displays more information, or you can click on it to have a full window. Now, let's look at that uh, more into details. Then you have, of course, the resin, the statistic I just explained. And if you are hovering here, you see that in terms of uh, uh, maximum rate, I have 52% of people who say, oh, great profile. And then 20, uh, 19 people, mm, meh, not so good. And 28 say, no, it was bad. The problem, and this is something very important to, to, to know and to keep in mind. In fact, when you are rating your print in this story, you are not really rating your print itself. You are more rating the resin profile you are using to print your model because uh, sometimes you are uh, you are printing something with a specific profile for your resin and, and, and so on, uh, but your print is you have a failed print. Why? Because you may uh, uh, underestimate the, the amount of support, or you put support which are way too thin in terms of contact point, or you forgot to hollow your model, or putting drain holes, and then your model just explode. I would say, or, or just break on multiple locations, and. Uh, uh, of course, when you are a beginner, this is very difficult to understand that. But when you are, let's say, a more advanced user, you know that your print is not a failure because of the resin profile, but more because you didn't prepare well your, uh, your 3D print. You forget something, you did a mistake, and, and, and so on. Then, if when you are rating, that's quite important to rate more the profile, not your print. Then if you have a partial failure because of your mistake, in fact, you should rate that at a maximum uh, uh, um, um, value and not, let's say, just it's a failed print. Then this is thing that we need to improve, of course, in Litchi Slicer. Then just keep that in mind. Let me close this window. Uh, and uh, OK, this profile is great. In fact, this profile, this is a default, default, default profile that I have just here. This is the same profile, meaning that this default profile, a lot of users are using this default one, meaning that it works for a lot of users. Um, let me just go back. But me as a user, I'm using a different type of resin, but I have my favorite ones. And for the Saturn 2, I'm printing quite a lot with the Cyratech, Cyratech uh, resin. And then you have uh, then the type of resin, the fast, the blue, the build, easy, etc. And then for, let's stick to the fast, we have the gray, navy gray, and me, I'm using a lot the navy gray. I don't know why, but it has been provided by default. It should know that I love a lot this navy gray uh, resin. And then what you see here, two first line, you have two uh, uh, profiles, these two ones, the most popular one, um, with perhaps not the most popular, we'll see that just after that, uh, with 30 microns, uh, the 2.5 uh, second speed, and you see, uh, sorry, exposure time, and the speed 240 millimeter per minute, which is quite fast, I would say, leave distance, 500 and plus users. And if you look at the rate, this is now 78 success rate, which is of course, much higher uh, with 500 and plus uh, a print and quite important, validated by Mango 3D. In fact, a manufacturer or a brand is able to validate this resin profile. Of course, you can trust the official resin profile uh, more easily, I would say. Then you can select this one, I would say, or yeah, but I'm not very sure. Perhaps I can sort all this listing, let's say by prints success. And now, if I look at that, the top one, mine, is still on the top. But if you look below, you have the 50 microns, which could be, let's say, faster for some usages, uh, um, is quite interesting, a lot of users, more prints. Perhaps I can use this one. Let me click on these two um, uh, profiles to select them. And now we'll add this new profile to my printer. And uh, I have to choose if I want to add that to the Saturn 2. Yes, of course. I click on copy and it will just open uh, one of them uh, to give you some information. Let me just close that. I will go back to this window just, just after that. Uh, you see still my Saturn 2 selected then. And you see for the brand now I have I have Seria Tech uh, brand, the name Fast Navy Gray and my two thickness. This one, I know what it is. I will leave at ease. But this one, I don't know these 50 microns. I just select from a user and I can edit this resin profile. What is very important, this county resin profile, you can use a profile as is, but you can also 
change this profile. As an example, it can be a starting point. Or say, if, uh, let's say then uh, exposure time 45 uh, seconds. This is quite uh, um, quite a lot. I know for, by experience. I would say perhaps switch to 30 uh, uh, seconds as an example. I stick to this 50 microns. Exposure time seems to be okay for me. Leave distance eight. This is quite a lot. Perhaps five could be enough. Lifting speed, 60 seconds and uh, 200 should be fine. Then you can work like that with this resin profile. You see, you can modify as much as you want. I can click on OK. And now I'm done. I'm ready to OK. I have this model. If I want, I can export. You see on this list, I have this resin profile which has been selected. I can do my export. And when my export will be done, uh, it will be just pushed to the cloud and waiting for you to rate your uh, um, your print. Then that's why I will not export for now, but I will go in this history, uh, which is quite important. You click on it and it will list your uh, uh, history of print that you did. Um, of course, this is uh, um, this version of Litchi Slicer is mainly for training. That's why you have almost nothing. But I have on this look uh, uh, there on the right, a profile that I did, uh, so a print I did quite a while ago and I rate this profile to be very good. Uh, you have the name, you have the date, etc, etc. You can also uh, uh, change the printing time because for now uh, uh, just it gave me this two hours and 20 minutes. But for some reason I know and I check my printer that this print didn't, uh, 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 the, the time was not two hours and 20 minutes, but perhaps two hours and two minutes, I would say. And when you will save that, the rate and also this time, it will be pushed to the cloud to your profile and say, oh, this profile now I have a rate of one print at 100% and more and more and more. And of course, there is a high chance that other users have the same profile, that it will combine in the same profiles all the values and uh, uh, all the rates. And of course, if you are using the same profile as someone else, you will be an extra uh, uh, um, uh, user of this profile and that making this profile more and more popular um, and of course accurate in terms of rating and the same if I want to rate this Benchy I can click on it same thing I can say oh my print has been a success it was not four hours because uh, uh, it was not that good sometimes it happened it was more uh, uh, three hours and uh, I don't know uh, 41 minutes you can save and now right away it's pushed to the cloud to uh, give an extra rate to my uh, profile. Then this is a global uh, uh, presentation, of course, of this quality resin profile. Now there is one thing which can be uh, uh, important to know. It's when uh, you have access to a new printer. And of course, because this is new, you may not have access to a lot of profiles. If I go back to my list of printers, you see I have mis uh, this uh, uh, Saturn 3. And if I want to add a new profile, I go in add new resin profile and just by this default, default, default profile, uh, you have almost nothing. Why? Because almost no user have it. But quite interesting why it's not in the market yet. You have at least more than 10 users who are using this, uh, this default profile. And if I look to, let's say, my Cyratech resin, if you click on default, you have Elegu Cyratech resin. But in terms of resin, you have the fast and gray, but not fast navy gray. I would like really to print with this fast navy gray. How can I do if I don't really know how to, to, I don't have access to other profile. Then the trick is if you have a printer, but this is more technical, but which has a very, very close specifications. Uh, in fact, the Saturn 2 and Saturn 3, uh, not the Ultra, just Saturn 3 are very, very close. Same lighting system and all of that, uh, almost same power. Then what you can do is directly go in Saturn 2, like we did before, fast navigate, exactly the same. Uh, I will do my print uh, like I did before with these uh, uh, 50 microns or perhaps this one, let's say just this one. I add this profile and now you see this is Saturn 3 printer. It has been selected and I can add this profile to the Saturn 3 and I can tweak like before. If I do my print and my print is a success and I rate as a success, now the next one, which will go in the community resin profile system and choosing the same resin as you did, Ceratech Fast Navigate, at least we have 
one profile with one successful, successful print and this user will be able to use your own profile and making, making it more and more popular. And by the way, on top, sorry, I have extra buttons for me, but on top you have this like this profile button. Then if your profile is working well, please like your profile. The more people will like the profile, the more, of course, it will be higher in the rating and in the listing of resin. Then I hope that this community resin profile uh, video uh, has been helpful for you, uh, but please rate your profile, not your print. Uh, spend a little bit of time to uh, w go in your history, validate your print. It will be really helpful for the community and avoiding a lot of people trying to search for all of these settings. Then I hope then that you will have a better understanding of this function in Litchi Slicer. And of course, see you soon in another video about Litchi Slicer.